Slim, why are you posting that? I'm ruining the surprise. Shut up, you f***ing snitch. The pig has returned. Indeed, I have. I, the pig, have returned. Tom Aspinall agrees to an interview. I'm telling you. Sup, pigger. Tom's going to mog you on stream. What if I mog Tom? No, nah, I don't think I will. He's bigger than me, obviously. But I'm telling you, dude. Tom Aspinall's dad wants me in the corner for the Jones fight. Just saying, guys. It's pretty good. Tom Aspinall messaged me on my phone. He sent me a voice note as well. We had a bit of banter back and forth. Guys, I'm just living a world that's a dream at the moment. Do you, do you want to... Um, oh, PKA Clips liked my comment. Maybe I'll go on the PKA pod. Dude, people are saying on Twitter, who's going to save us from Tapuria? And I'm like, what? Save you from wickedly cool knockouts and savage fights every time? Who are these people, dude? Who's with me on that? Someone's going to save us from Ilya to Pier Save you from what? Entertainment value every time he steps out there, dude. Oh. Pig Max versus Hooker for the BMF. Winner gets Connor. Shut the up about the BMF for people that have just been slept. Stop. BMF is like a pandering little belt at this point, dude. The real BMFs are the ones that sleep in BMF champs. Um, Ilya will win for years. Lopez only problem, but he wins. Yeah, if he beats Lopez. And Makashev beats Armin. <laughs> the matchup should be made. Who you got between Tapuria and Islam? Ilya Abturo, yeah? Ilya Abturo, me. Thank you for the $2. Especially if Makashev comes to Marbella. Does Ilya beat Prime Connor? Yes, he does, obviously. Is there a better start to a title run than Ilya's right now? Beating two all-timers by KO. He's got a fan in me. Don't know how you can't enjoy him. Yeah. Thank you for the five Australian dollars. Yeah, I like Ilya Tapuria, dude. Thoughts on Lucas Tracy pushing for Ilya versus Islam? Dude, Lucas Tracy ain't... Now that he don't have to suffer the wrath of a live chat every now and again, he just spewing out takes. We don't need it yet. Like, because let me, let me tell you this right now, chat. For once, I want Makashev to prove light, lightweight lightweight credentials i know he beat poirier and i want him to fight armin and i want to see him against like either a welterweight or an, an another lightweight that's on the come up you know if someone else gets in there i don't want it to be because let me tell you this right now chat if islam makashev beats Ilya to Puria, we say it's a sick matchup yeah 100 percent. when we look back we'll go that's like three Featherweights on his resume. And Poirier was a former resume as well, a uh, former featherweight as well. So, like, listen, I, I completely understand, but like, I wish we would have some champions proper take out some contenders in their division. Hopefully, there's another lightweight that comes up soon. Like, a, I mean, I know it's crazy, but if Pimlet were to beat Moicano and then get a win over a Gaethje or a, something like that, but I, I'd love the matchup. I really would. But, dude, we've got Ilya Tapuria versus Diego Lopez. Then if Volk beats the winner of Sterling Evloev, we have that as well. There's matchups that still need to be made. You know what I mean? But I get it, though. Charles is a former featherweight as well. Yeah, he is. So, uh, I mean, I'd love to see before I... I mean, I would. I do think Ilya could beat Makashev, and I would love to see it. I completely understand. But we have to restore some order before we just do these... You know what I mean? I, I want some champions to big up a 3-4 a title defense streak rather than just constantly doing these... Super fights, you know. Right, I'll play the voice note of Tom Asper now. I promise you, chat, I promise you anything, this is not me doing an impression. I did do an impression back to him, and then he agreed to do the interview, but I promise you this isn't an impression, okay? I promise you anything. It isn't. You'll hear the difference between my voice and his. So I said, John Jones, Stipe Miocic, Fight Week interview, and then uh, Tom Asper now sent me this. What region? Shut the f up, dumb. I said John Jones versus Stipe Miocic fight week interview. And Tom Aspinall sent back this. Guru, you've at least got to butter me up a little bit. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, hi, Tom. Big fan. You know, how's it going? Everything all right? Do, do, do you fancy doing an interview? Not just straight in. With the interview questions. You've got to at least take me out for a date before you try and sleep with me. Do you know what I mean? That's the way it goes. You can't just... You can't just go straight in. You don't even follow me. You don't even follow me on Instagram and you're coming straight in with those kind of questions. You know what I mean? It Tickle my ego a little bit. Make me feel good about myself before you start asking these kind of questions. <laughs> you don't even follow me. And I responded with this. Do you know what it is about that, Tom? I um I opened up the DMs and I was uh, <laughs> overtaken with shock and awe because I felt in the presence of a great and mystical power and uh, my whole body started going into some kind of uh, crazy shock and I don't want to be some kind of fanboy from the UK so <laughs> I thought, you know what, I'll muster up the courage to type just a few words because my hand was shaking about all over the place. I couldn't ask you just like, how are you, Tom? And what are you up to? Because you're of such high status, mate. The Instagram only lets me send you one message and I didn't want it to be some kind of paragraph, if you know what I'm saying. So I finally mustered up the courage and stopped my hand from trembling and just got out the key words I needed to asking for an interview, mate. So... Get a grip of yourself, man. <laughs> and he, he did. He did say that he would like to do the interview. That being said, the answer is yes. Of course, I will. There you go, boys. Yup, yeah, yeah. Come to my bay, bro, yeah. Do you disagree that a more interesting scenario is Chimeyev fights either Izzy or Imavov while Strickland and DDP fight a rematch? And Chimeyev fights the winner of the for the belt. I mean, I could see them giving Chimeyev a fight in the meantime. I, If I were the UFC, knowing that DDP Strickland is taking place next year, I would take advantage of getting a Chimeyev Adesanya fight booked. Because yes or no, chat, that is blockbuster right now. So they probably will do Chimeyev just for the belt next and then have Izzy fight someone else. But um, but yeah, just to keep them active, I'd love to see that. January, imagine January, we open the year with an Adesanya versus uh, Chimeyev fight. That'd be insane. <laughs> 